Stream it or beam it. Number one movie over the weekend, Alien Covenant. I'm going to let you know if you want to go see this thing in the theater or if you want to wait till it comes out and get it streamed at home. Let's get into it. enjoy the content on my channel please take your cursor click the subscribe button if you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video click the little bell and if you want to connect with me on Facebook you can click this button if you want to connect with me on my other social media I got a button for you here a button for you here and if you're one of those people that want to make a donation donations can be made through my patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains you can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Game. What's good YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is Hell host of the Life Games channel, bringing you guys streaming media content, also movie reviews, streaming or beaming, letting you know whether or not you should spend your money in the theater or wait for the stream. And ladies and gentlemen, I just got back from seeing Alien Covenant. And you might want to hide your kids on this because this might turn into a rated R YouTube superstar video because I'm pretty damn mad. So let's just give you some background on the story. First of all, it stars Michael Fassbender. You guys might be familiar with his work on X-Men. He played Magneto. He was also in a movie called Prometheus. And keep that in mind because we're going to come back to that movie. And he's done some other good stuff. Co-star is Katherine Watterson. I didn't know anything about her. She is absolutely a phenomenal actor. She starred in Jobs, the movie. She's done Fantastic Beasts, and she's also done Inherent Vice. And this thing is directed by Ridley Scott, who we all are familiar with Ridley Scott's work. He's an excellent director. He's done some good stuff. So to save some of you guys a headache, some of you that are going into this thing thinking you're going to see Sigourney Weaver, or you're thinking it's going to be an elude to all of the previous Alien movies, you might as well just turn this off right now. Don't even worry about it, because there's nothing like that. Secondly, if you have not seen Prometheus, was all about. Prometheus introduced us to the engineers, an alien race who inexplicably started life on Earth. We don't know exactly why, and that's what the crew of the Prometheus sets out to discover. What we hope to achieve was to meet our makers, to get answers where they even hit us in the first place. The movie that came out a couple of years ago, this is kind of a secondary notion to what went on in Prometheus don't go see this movie you're probably gonna be upset with it again and so the meat and taters of this movie starts out with this little caption right here where you have Michael Fassbender talking to a guy that created him and without giving you the full story that's just a big part of the headlines that you'll see in the movie whenever you watch it and so you've got an expedition team going to a new planet almost like the settlers coming to America and they're looking to colonize that planet and they have, this, the, they have the team in a deep frost and they've got over 2,000 embryos, eggs, and people that are going to colonize this new planet. Well, the one thing I can say that's great about this movie is the visual graphics are outstanding, ladies and gentlemen. The, the visual graphics are great. And the first 20 minutes of this movie leads you to believe we're going somewhere good. But after that, that is about all for this shit, ladies and gentlemen. After that, the shit goes down here really fast. And so there's two black people in it. You got your boy from Empire, Jamal Lyons, and you got this other brother that looks like he's Samoan. And in true scary movie form, y'all know our asses die quick. The black people don't never survive the scary movies. Our asses ain't gonna survive this one either. Even though you think Jamal is, he's not. And throughout the movie, they, well, at this point in the movie, they're flying. They get a beacon signal from a planet that's not where they're supposed to go. They decide to go down there and explore it. And lo and behold, the Michael Fassbender you've seen in the early part of this video has a clone 
syndicate robot of himself that was created years before this was done that was aligned with the movie Prometheus. That's why I say if you haven't seen Prometheus, you're going to have to go back and watch it. And so the movie is not about adversary of aliens versus the crew. It's more so about the crew versus Michael Fassbender's clone robot and other aliens that he's trying to control and create. The action is not that great. The action is very predictable. And in the end, the bad guy wins. And I'll leave it at that. You'll have to use your imagination. So IMDB gave this movie a 6.9. It opened as the number one movie in the world, but those sales are dropping like underwear drops in the strip club. So don't even really worry about going to see this one. Stream it, wait for it to come out, save your hard earned money, ladies and gentlemen. This one is not a Life Games approved theater beam. I want to know what you guys think. Have you seen it already? Am I wrong in my analysis of the movie? If you've seen it, let me know. Let me know if you're going to go see it in the theater or if you're going to stream it. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Stay tuned to this channel for the latest and what's going on in movies. I try to keep you guys updated on all of it to save you time, effort, and money. Be sure to check my video description box below this video. Check out my past videos. Check out my affiliates. Do business with them. Do business with me. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.